Hey guys, this is Sean at Spotlight Photographics, and we are going to be talking about uh, tips and tricks on the Photo Solutions Market website. Uh, this is a new series we're going to be doing. Um, every week, I'll put out one or two of these videos and post them to our Facebook page, and give you uh, give you some tricks and and uh, tips of. Uh, different things that you can do with our templates that you may not have thought of um, to try to help you uh, you know, better your business. So today we're going to be talking about panoramic templates and how you can use a panoramic to make a unique looking memory mate option for your teams. Uh, a lot of people do the memory mate where they have the team shot and the individual on it, uh, but we came up with a really cool idea actually uh, talking to one of our customers uh, and a lot of our d ideas do come from there so if you have anything please call us uh, we're always open to suggestions or ideas on how you're using our templates maybe differently than they're originally intended so uh, we'd love to hear from you um, you can always email us uh, by emailing support at photosolutionsmarket.com or you can always give me a call at 904-398-4355 but let's get into this one so the panoramic templates, uh, we're going to be using one of the new ones that just came out for the Volume 4 Panoramic Edition, uh, the Metal Edition, and uh, this is the Smash template. Now, you're going to make one for your team, and then it'll look like this you know, when you get it done, um, but what if you wanted to make it a memory mate? Now, once you get everything done and you've saved this out as your team photo, we can use this exact same shot and create a memory mate, and how we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and take our team layer, which what I've done is merged all my players together and taking the shadow layer that I have here as well. And we're just going to transform this by using Control T and uh, for free transform. And just we're going to shrink this down a little bit so we get a, a good amount of room over here on the right. And we're just going to raise that up, put it right there. And we're going to move the name over shrink that down just a little bit there too so that it's above the team and then we're going to take our last name area here grabbing our texture and the font and we're just gonna bring that down put that right there all right and we're going to make a first name area here. I'm just going to use the same text that's down here at the bottom. So we're just going to bring it up here and we're going to type in the first name of our first player. So his first name is Michael and we are going to move that right here into this spot. Make it a little bit bigger. Right there. And his last name is Jones and we'll of course make that fit all right now at this point I'm gonna save this as a template okay this is going to be my memory mate template for this team and I'll use it for every single player so at this point all we need to do is come up to our very top layer and then bring in just the individual picture and drop it in and we're just going to size it to fit right there and then we could just do some fine tuning there you go there is your memory mate and um, I think that's going to be really cool I think a lot of teams will want to buy that um, I'm going to move that team over here just a little bit but um, you know, it's something unique. It's something different than maybe you have thought about using the pan panoramic templates for. Um, but it this works on a lot of different template styles. Uh, this one obviously is the the smash panoramic, um, but it would work on most of them. Uh, for example, let's bring in backsplash, and this was a template as it was, and just for showing how that would work on this one do the same thing bring our team down a little bit let's bring our team name and black bar here our last name with the texture and bring that in just a little bit And 
let's just say this first girl's name is going to be Harris. And let's use a different font for the first name. Just to change it up a little bit. I'm just going to type a new name here. White. Maybe put a little stroke around that to make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. And we'll say that we're going to use this scroll right here. And just for the sake of speed, obviously I, we'd bring in our player as a full-size file, not try to use this one, but just to show you. There you go. So really cool idea, something unique, something outside the box, um, using the panoramics for another purpose. Uh, but again, that's making a memory made out of a panoramic. If you have any ideas or, or different tricks or things that you're, you're using uh, any of our templates for, we'd love to hear from you, like I said before. Uh, you can always email me. Uh, you can email me directly, actually, at sean at spotlightphotographics.com, and that's S-H-A-U-N at spotlightphotographics.com. Um, again, you can always call me, 904-398-4355. So, again, that was Tips and Tricks, and uh, look, keep uh, looking on our Facebook page, both the Spotlight Photographics Facebook page and the Photo Solutions Market Facebook page for updates on uh, new templates, new products, and new tips and tricks. Till next time, stay creative.